has. Yeah, KCRA 3's Janet O shows us the steps they're taking today to prevent a drop off in production. The more comfortable these cows are, the better they'll produce for us. So. Dairy farmers like Justin Gioletti worry when the temperature spikes. He recalls what happened seven years ago. 2006 was an exceptional event and we did lose some cows. In 2006, 26,000 cows died across the state during a heat storm. This week, farmers say they're facing much of the same problems, but with some relief. Last night, I think it was about 75 degrees, you know, and, and it's not as bad. As Gioletti says they're still taking all precautions. In fact, as soon as the temperature hits 75 degrees, fans and misters automatically turn on. The idea behind the soaking system is you completely saturate the cow's body with water and allow her to uh, uh, cool evaporate. And that's how he says they stay healthy and keep producing. Uh, cow comfort's the name of the game in the dairy business. When they're not milking, they stay housed in the shade and have plenty of water in the trough. <laughs> Poultry farmers are also keeping an eye on the rising temperature. We build these houses so that uh, we can cool about 20 degrees from outside ambient temperature. Tom Silva with JS West explains these cool cells run water through its system around the clock, allowing cooler air through the facility. The hens also stay hydrated by drinking water. If they get too hot, they're going to stop eating. Once they stop eating or slow down on eating their nutrient intakes, then they stop laying eggs. In a worst case scenario, if power does fail, Silva says they have an emergency backup just in case. In Stanislaus County, Janet OKCRA, three reports. Local irrigation districts say for now they're not seeing a huge demand by farmers for any more water. We just want to let you know to remember that our heat